Welcome to the InfuSystem tutorial on the Baxter 6201 Infusion Pump. Start by priming your Baxter 6201 specific administration set using aseptic technique and following the instructions as detailed on the solution set packaging. Ensure that all air is expelled from the set. To program the pump, start by verifying that the pump is plugged in. The plug icon lights whenever the pump is plugged in, as you see here. When the pump is not plugged in and is battery powered, the battery icon will light. With your prepared solution, verify that all clamps are clamped and your regulating clamp is tightened. Open the pump door. Raise the pump door latch in the horizontal position. Hold the door open. Load the set by simply pressing the red safety clamp open. Insert the slide clamp just below there, making sure that it's fully engaged and flush against the pump while smoothing your tubing to verify that it's taut. Ensure that the tubing is loaded straight through the pump mechanism tubing guides. At this time, you can close the pump door. If any resistance is felt, check for a misloaded IV set. When engaging the door, you'll hear two clamps. One, two. At this time, you can release the regulating clamp and check your tubing chamber to verify there are no drops dripping. At this time, you can attach your IV set to your patient's administration site. At this time, you can start your pump by pressing the on-off button. Verify that it goes through the appropriate system check. For the purposes of our demonstration today, we're going to program a rate of 195 and a total volume to be infused of 550. To do that, simply press primary rate 195. Primary volume to be infused 550. And you're ready to press the primary start button. I know that my pump is infusing because of the green indicator light that shows me that it's pumping and the drop icons next to my rate. At this time, to prevent any interaction with the infusion pump panel, simply go to the back of the pump, press the panel lock button by pushing it in, and you'll note on the front of the pump that the LOC appears next to your rate infusing. Once your infusion is complete, it'll necessitate once again pressing that lock button to allow you to interact with the keypad. And at this time, at the end of the infusion, simply press the stop button to stop the infusion. Press the power button to stop the pump. To remove your tubing set, press in and out on your door latch. As indicated on the inside panel of your pump, to unload, press in the blue clamp. Press back on the safety clamp. And at this time, you can very simply remove the tubing set gently from your infusion pump, knowing full well that the tubing is clamped to prevent any inadvertent infusion of any fluids left. You can also tighten down your regulator clamp at this time. That completes the programming of the pump for your primary infusion. Should you need any refreshers, you can find on the side panel of the pump full directions for use. You also can find on the side of the pump a sticker indicating that you can call for further assistance to the infuse system number 1-800-658-5585. With any questions, 24-7. If you need a reminder on loading or unloading the set, simply refer to the tip card attached to your infusion pump that talks about proper set loading and proper set unloading. 
Thank you for your attention to our in-service on the Baxter 6201 Infusion Pump. And thank you for using Infusystem.